Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today it's going to be a showing off video. Sorry about the glare from my ceiling fan. I can't really fix that. So I thought I would show y'all guys a project I have been working on. And I got another order today, a couple days ago, to do another horror movie prop. Those who know me know, back before I used to make knives, I made props for my collection. Mainly horror movie props and stuff like that. I didn't do it that much anymore because not many people buy good, well-made props. And... Luckily, I've met a few people that helped spark my interest back into making them because I am a knife maker by trade, so it kind of gives me a unique ability to make these knives and make them very accurate. And the guy I met today is a good guy by the name of Sam. He's a horror movie guy, just like me and just like my buddy Eric. And this was another good project for the books, and when I made one, I had to make another one for myself. I have made Freddy Krueger's glove, Jason Voorhees' machete, his original machete and the Freddy vs. Jason machete. I've made cleavers, I have made Michael Myers butcher knives, and I've made a couple of other different horror movie genres. This is another one I can add to my belt. To those who know your horror movies, you will recognize this knife, but to those who don't, you won't recognize this knife. You'll probably go on Google and find it. But this is the knife from Child's Play 1, Chucky's voodoo knife that he uses to kill the voodoo doctor with. And my good buddy Sam, that's the guy's name, thank you very much, man, for ordering this. He paid me in materials, and it was well worth it. So here's my replica, my own replica of the Voodoo Knife from Child's Play 1. And I actually made two of them. One's going to my buddy Sam, another one's going to my collection. And I stamped them, number one and number two, to verify how many I built. And... Overall, it was an awesome project. The handles are made out of micarta, and the blades are made out of aluminum. It's not meant to be used. It's a prop, but alum and aluminum shines really nice. And I copied the details the best I could. Like I said, I, I wasn't trying to make an exact copy, because that's very hard to do. Beautiful. Here's this one, and then here's the one I'm giving to my buddy Sam. Beautiful. Overall, it was a great project, and I look forward to doing another order for him because he says he's got more projects for me. And here's what he paid me in. He gave me some beautiful Made in India cowboy boots with rubber treading on them, and these are really gorgeous. Uh, they're, the brand is Old West Made in India. And he gave me a gorgeous pair of biker boots. And no, I'm not going to skin these for the leather because these are way too nice. I'm actually giving this pair to my brother. Because these are his size, and I don't want to ruin a nice pair of boots. So not every pair of boots that comes into my shop, I, I skin them for the leather. If they're really good shape, I'll just either keep them or sell them to somebody who can use them. And those I'm giving to my brother for a birthday present. And anyway, that's all I've got for right now. Thank you very much, Sam. I hope you enjoy your voodoo knife. And as always, stay sharp, my friend.